I got a new CNC from Stepcraft, and because I haven't really used a CNC that much, I thought the best way to get good at using it was to do a series of progressively more difficult projects. And this is the latest one. It's actually a drag chain for the CNC itself. After I got the idea to do this, I designed the part in SketchUp, and then I copied that over and flipped it so that it's opposite. And then I copied those again to get as many as I need, then exported that to VCarve, made the tool paths, and got started cutting them out on the CNC. And this is my first time doing a double-sided part, and not everything went as smoothly as I'm showing it here, and I talk about that a little bit more in the website build article. The link is in the description. But I eventually got it done and I learned quite a bit, which is my goal to begin with. But one problem that I did have is that the recess really wasn't deep enough for these parts to fit together properly. So I'm using a three quarter inch Forstner bit in my drill press and I've got the depth set so that it doesn't drill all the way through. I'm just gonna take a little bit off. Next, a little bit of hand sanding to clean up the faces and get rid of the furries. And I also started grinding the tabs off, but only on the top. I had the strange idea that I would sand the tabs off on the bottom after the chain is assembled, but that turned out to be not a very good idea. There are two other parts that I need for each link. The first one is what I'm cutting here. This is for the bottom. And the reason why I'm not doing these on the CNC is because they're just straight cuts, and that's always faster and more convenient to do on the table saw. Then I can get started on assembly, and I had to give this a little bit of thought, how this was going to go together. And what I figured I would do is make what I'm calling full links, which are two sides and a bottom, and then also partial links, which are one side and a bottom, and that way I can use the partial links to join the full links together and complete the chain that way. Then I went back to the drawing board and I designed the straight part and cut that out on the CNC. And this is the part of the chain that gets fastened to the gantry and keeps everything in line. Then I can cut out the blocks that fit in the top of each link. And these ones won't get glued in. They'll just be screwed in place with number four screws so that they can be taken off and you can get the cables put inside the chain. I did a little hand sanding on the side of the chain just to clean it up. And then I brought it outdoors and sprayed on two coats of water-based polyurethane to seal it up and keep it looking fresh and clean. The gantry on the CNC had these clips originally. I need to take those off and I can take the assembled chain over and see how it looks. I probably should have done a little bit more measuring before I started doing this because I actually have too many links here or more links than I actually need. So the straight section could have been longer but I think that all these links look 
way cooler. The top of the gantry is not actually flat at the back, it slopes down, so I'm going to cut an angled strip to fit on top of there. And to fasten it to the gantry, I'm going to open that slot on the end so the head of the bolts will fit in there and they'll be sticking up. Like I said, the top of each link is held on by very small screws. These are number four. And because this is thin plywood, I'm drilling a pilot hole before I drive in those screws. And here it is all finished and working great. I know that not too many people actually need one of these, let alone one that's made out of wood especially when you can buy one for like 20 bucks. But like I said, this is a learning project for me and I end up with something that looks pretty neat.